Hello YouTube, my name is Pamela Ware and I am back in my kitchen today for you. I had seven ripe bananas that I needed to do something with. So today I am making three different recipes. Um, and I hope you enjoy. All right, so this recipe is banana cranberry muffins. So I'm going to use one cup of all-purpose flour, one cup of whole wheat flour, a quarter cup of canola oil, a third cup of milk, two ripe bananas, roughly one cup of frozen cranberries, a third cup of brown sugar, one egg, three teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. All right, so I preheated the oven at 400 and I put a bit of oil on my 12 muffin tin pan. So the batter is made, do not over mix, it will be lumpy, it's just, if you over mix, it's gonna be dry, which is gonna suck. So if the batter is a little lumpy, that's normal, it's gonna be perfect. We are gonna let those cook for about 20 minutes until they're a bit like golden -y and dry on the inside. So good. I'm super, super, super excited for this recipe. I am making banana brownies. So I am going to be using half a cup of flour, a third cup of unsweetened cocoa powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of almond extract. You can also use vanilla extract if you like, a third cup of sugar, half a cup of butter, one egg, and one banana. For this recipe, I have to preheat the oven at 375 and we're just gonna put it in another pan we're gonna butter another pan or oil another pan uh, to make the brownies in All right, so now that the batter is all mixed, it smells absolutely delicious. I just put a bit of oil again on the pan and now we're just gonna put the batter in and then pop it in the oven for about 30-ish minutes. Splash, I was taking a bath. Oh yes, so my frozen bananas have been in the freezer for about an hour and a half and now I'm gonna put them in the food processor with a bit of peanut butter and it's gonna make peanut butter banana ice cream!
Right, so there's two choices. You can have it soft serve, which is right now, you eat it right now, or you can put it in the freezer for a couple hours if you want, or days, whatever. It'll be a little harder ice cream, but it'll still be delicious. Okay, so we are going to try the little platter. Little? Little, what do you want to start with? Brownie. The brownie? Okay, uh, let's try this one. So this is a banana. Why do you get the bigger piece? Brownie. Thank you. So annoying. All right, so here we go. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I think I overcooked it a bit, but the taste is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. Still good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. What's next? Ice cream. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's so creamy. There's no cream in it. I think this is one of my favorite ice creams Yo. that I've ever made. No, but. Actually, I only made like two ice creams, but. Okay, I'm good. Thank you. No, we have to try the muffins! Mmm! <laughs> so good. This actually is not bad. Put it down. We're gonna try the muffins now. Oh, wait, this is the peanut butter one. Is it peanut butter or banana? No, ice cream. Ah. Banana. Oh, no, it's cool. It okay, we're gonna try a muffin now. These are banana cranberry muffins. They look so good. Okay, you're so annoying. <laughs> mm. Not bad. Is it healthy? It's not bad. Anyways. Everything is exactly how I wanted it, except the brownies were a little overcooked, but they're still good. And yeah, so give every recipe a try. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Hope you didn't ruin it. <laughs> I'm not All right, guys. Here. All right, guys. So like, subscribe. Let me know if you tried the recipe. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time.